Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I'm playing Anamorphine, and I'm doing it on the Vive Focus, and it's for a slightly different reason than when I played Transference. When I played Transference on the Vive Focus, it was because it was cool to do. Um, the game itself works great in both VR and in desktop mode. What I've found with Anamorphine, though, is that it does not really work in VR. Um, there's a lot of things that kind of bug out when you use Oculus Touch Controllers or Vive Wands. So I'm checking it out now with the Vive Focus, hoping I'll be able to teleport around and do the things that I need to do. Yeah, there's a nice broken pieced cello. So, so far, working okay. When I turn around, there's more trash. I move this way, see some more broken piece cello. And this is kind of the guy's fragmented mind, from what I understand. Let me turn around, look out the window now, see more fragments of that cello. Let's see, is there even more that we need to do here? No, I think we just need to look at that show. Yeah, there we go. Now it's moving day. So, I'm going to move through this hallway. There are little things that you'll notice about this game, which is definitely a walking simulator. There's, there's not really much else to it. And with VR, the teleportation mechanic is really the only way to play, which is kind of weird. But it does work with the controller, um, and it works very well on its own as a desktop game. It just has some clunkiness as a VR game and some bugs as a VR game. So I'm anxious to see if working with a controller it, it will work better here. So Elena's stuff is fragile. Got this cactus over here. Tyler, which is your character in this game, at least for right now. I, I don't know, maybe you change into someone else later. So I did notice this game plays a little bit less smoothly than Transference did on the focus. But now, as we get past this radio static, we have reached Tyler and Elena's house. And there's a card there that says welcome from the Montreal Symphony Orchestra. Um, again, kind of paralleling transference a bit. This game has a cellist, a musician that's in an orchestra. And there's also kind of some mental illness involved too over here to the paint. And you'll notice Tyler's hobby here is photography, so there's a lot of lenses scattered about. And in this room, which I'm assuming is going to be Elena's music room, it's just the cello. And if we go out here, see Elena herself. The bedroom doesn't have a bed frame. It's only partially painted. It's red paint. And we've got uh, some books pack unpacking themselves. It's pretty cool. 
I wish I could clean my house in that same manner. And here's the part where the game breaks. So as you can see, from a VR perspective, I am now frozen in time in this exact spot. So what we're going to do is going to quit the game. We're going to continue the game now from a non-VR perspective, which is going to be kind of trippy in a VR headset, but whatever. And then we'll come back to the VR mode in just a moment. So I don't want a new game. I want to continue the game. Huh. Wow. So it doesn't let me continue from where we just were. So we're turning VR mode off. I'm hoping it'll let me do like a big screen mode, but it doesn't look like it will. Nope. Well, that's sad. So we're going to try to skip past that part. Gotta say, I'm definitely kind of annoyed that the game just doesn't seem to work in VR. At least not very well. We'll try reassembling this cello. We'll get back past that same scene in non-VR mode, which is much more smooth, as you can see, because you don't have to do that weird teleport mechanic to move around. And I kind of wish this free-moving locomotion existed in the VR mode of the game as well, because it's much easier to move around. We'll get past that scene fairly quickly here. Because as you saw, we weren't very far into the game. We were just a few minutes in. So short into the game that we couldn't even save the game at that point, which is super trippy. So, got paint over here. Paint in the other room. Lots and lots of paint. Hello, Elena. Glad you're just hanging out there. But now when we go in here, you'll notice the books still pack, unpack themselves. But when we go into this little closet area, it doesn't break our teleportation mechanic. We can go in the other room, unpack more boxes. This time, some booze. More stuff in the office here. Now Elena's in the kitchen. Unpack some dishes. How's it going? Now we'll move this way. You'll notice the music room. Unpacking. And the cello again. And now we can go into this room. The same bedroom we started out in. So this time a little bit less trashed. And now there's some people hanging out. 
There's one of my camera lenses. And now we've kind of reached the trippy next spot here where that's just hanging out on the wall. And things have kind of changed. So when we leave this room, it saves. So what I'm hoping to do is now that it's saved a bit, if we can quit, restart in VR mode, see what happens. I'm hoping there's now a continue game option and that we can do it in VR. <clears throat> All right, cool. So there is a continue game option. This time we're going to select VR. You pick up the headset. All right, so we're back to save one, which is where we left off. And hopefully now, even though we're going to have to use that weird clunky teleport mechanic, we'll be able to continue the game. So yeah, I'm able to move again, which is important. Before we do that though, I noticed there's a, some stuff over here to materialize again. Paint on the ground. Anything else in this room? I don't think so. Seems to be fully materialized. And now we'll go out here. And this is kind of a fragmented hallway in my mind. So we're going to go toward that box over there. Which has just turned into a cello. We'll see how this scene plays out. We're back in the house. Seems to be some time different. There's nothing in this room it doesn't look like. Some headphones. There's some big headphones. But there's Elena. Playing her cello. Hi Elena. Cool melted floral patterns and now kind of in a weird dreamlike state. Doesn't seem to be anything to do in that direction so let's go this way a bit. So I see something over there, beyond those plants. And this seems to be another plant of some form.
land's pretty trippy, but I see another rainbow pattern over here. My eyes are kind of drawn to the purple I missed over here. Maybe they shouldn't be. It's weird. Okay. going in the opposite direction. I see down there, okay. It's very strange how this movement system works um, and how the ground below me just sort of seems to be breathing, but it's kind of cool. Cool environment for sure. Definitely one to check out and look around. We seem to be in a theater of some form. Perhaps we're in the Montreal Symphony Orchestra house. We'll find out. Oops. So there's people now in the crowd, all over. That's kind of neat. Go back downstairs, if possible. I'm assuming I can. See if I can get a little bit closer to the actual symphony. It's quite the teleport there, but it worked. another picture and I'm assuming I'm back wow so now I'm kind of in a room with flowers and some of the seats from that experience so this is kind of cool so now there's two cellos as well it's kind of a polished black or purple and that black and white one that we're used to seeing and some other instruments as well so let's go back out into the pattern of our mind. It looks like there was a bit of lag there. It reloaded fairly quickly though. Now 
now it's like kind of a box we're gonna teleport in here and now we're just hanging out in the closet which is actually one of the rooms early on that bugged out for me but again things seem to be fairly normal in the house not a smashed up cello in sight which is good Going on in the music room, anything? So it won't let me do anything here. It won't let me leave this room. Again. Just super terrible. And now we're locked in place. We can't move at all. I don't get it. So, as you can see, there's a record playing. Um, and that's Elena again. I'm going to go ahead and quit. And I guess I'll continue the game um, in flat, uh, non VR mode. As you can see, that, that once that glitch happens, the game's kind of useless. Um, it's very, frankly, unplayable. Um, so we're going to turn off the VR mode now. That's not letting us move at all. Well, maybe it's not actually turned off in VR mode. Maybe it's still in VR mode. So, let's pop the headset back on. Yeah, that's probably the case. It's still in VR mode. Now I need my controller. So what we're going to do is pause. Yeah, it's not registering anything. That's weird. So let's try going back to the app. Let's go back out here. Yeah, not working out. Oh, well. Well, we tried to play Anamorphine didn't work out very well but you got a quick look at what it would look like in VR now we're gonna go back into the game and play it um, hopefully as intended just in desktop mode for a little while because as you can see this one's not working with VR So that was unfortunate, um, but now we're going to go ahead and play Anamorphine without a headset. Um, it should work fine. It's just sadly not in VR, which is what this channel is all about. So I'm hoping that our save file continues where we left off. We'll play for a few more minutes. Um, make sure that the PC version works. Of course, the thing is, in order to play the PC version, you have to have a mouse so you can get to the correct save file, which is super weird. Um, it needs a mouse sometimes, sometimes it needs a keyboard, sometimes it needs a controller, and it totally breaks. 
when you play in VR. Which is super sad. So now we'll go back here, back in the closet where we just were in the VR mode. Looking around a bit. You can hear the music playing. There's Elena checking off dates on the calendar. Go back in the music room in a few minutes. A little more nervous about going in there since it didn't want me to do anything earlier. There she is again. This time with her music chart behind her. She's teaching some students this time. It's pretty cool. Now if we go through here. through the bedroom. Now we can go into the bathroom. Slightly different walking simulation here. Now you'll notice the kitchen uneaten dinner. No one in the music room. Everything's a little bit brighter here. She's taking some antidepressants, it seems. Her hair is no longer growing, glowing. She's changing colors, though. The pink's kind of cool. Maybe those are like mood ring colors, I don't know. Go back out here. Playing chess now. Just moving one of the pieces. I think she just won. That's fine. Again, no one in this household eats. I don't know if you noticed, but more food, just kind of chilling, sitting there. Our pictures on the wall, same ones that we had when we moved in. Appears to be the holiday season now. Got a gift of cool new camera. Appears we bought each other bikes. And yet, yeah, that was a bike. Cool. More pills. Now the Christmas tree with the random gifts and the bikes are in this weird memory palace. Let's see. Go back out. Where does it take us this time? Maybe there's a different path to take this time. Is that the case? No. Still seems to be in the same place. This is a very strange game. Go through here. And now... She's on a bike. Appears we are now too. I don't know how much fun this would actually be in VR. A bike ride on what appears to be like the side of a mountain or something. Her. Coming around this bend here. There she is. Straight ahead. She's up that hill. People just kind of standing around. Oh, 
little stair path there. It's people jogging. But man, she got away. I haven't seen her since this chase began. Can we go across this little bridge? Maybe not. There we go. Okay. Pass the bridge. These controls are just clunky, even on PC, using the gamepad, with no real defined path. So I'm just kind of riding along, riding along, riding along, riding along. And I'm assuming that's her bike. I'm supposed to park mine, maybe? But I really don't know. And now I'm stuck beyond the boundaries again. Can I walk? Can I talk? Can I do anything? So now I'm walking. As are all these other people. Where's Elena? Is she around somewhere? I swear that was her bike. Lots of people. There she is. I think she's ready to take a selfie. Looks like I should try to get in this picture. And there we are. Selfie. <laughs> and I unlocked an achievement for selfie. Okay. So is there anything else here? So I've got the bike helmet, some hiking gear. Let's do this one more time. This I don't know. Another bike path. Okay. This time of night. At least it's a little bit faster when we're riding the bike. Except when the steering kind of breaks. Game as itself, as a walking simulator, isn't terrible, um, and the music is good. I, I really like the the cello sounds, but at the same time, the gameplay, if it was smooth and, and worked well, would be so much better. Like right now, it's not even letting me advance to the part where I can stand to walk. So obviously she wrecked her bike. You can see that. It's sad for us both. Are we in the hospital now? Like what's going on? Yeah. This is the scene I was expecting. Elena in the hospital bed. 
at least she's got some vital signs. I don't know if they're the best vital signs on Earth, but they're there. Looks like the only way I can go is out these doors. Again, very clearly defined path, even though the path might not be easy to get to, whether you're playing in PC mode or VR mode. I'm glad hospitals don't normally have such intricate hallways that just keep going around in circles like this. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. But I see what's happening. There she is. Falling in darkness there. She is again. And now the doors are closed off. Go back in the other direction here. Can we push through these doors? No. Those doors are now closed. We seem to be trapped in this hallway. No real way out. No. To sit in the waiting room and cope. Hospital waiting rooms are terrible. This is seriously a maze, too. It's pretty funny. Alright, so... Can we go through this door? No. You can't really go through any doors in this game, I've noticed. Can't go around that path. How's it going? Nothing shiny for me to do here. Can't take the elevator. And we're home. Probably alone. With some glowing bombs. That we trash. Into the television. More glowing bombs. I'm assuming we are now officially in alpha. You know, always helpful, right? Like a toothbrush, that's hygienic, right? It's good. Hey, more bottles. Another scene. This time with our bike again. Without poor Elena now riding through the desert. Alone. Maybe we're trying to find ourselves. Say. I will say though that with all of those beer bottles or whatever that was, not really impairing my driving at all. Seems 
seem to be able to climb that mountain with skill. Not really sure where I'm going. Pick a good spot. into the walls pretty well. So, as you can see, even on PC, steering is very difficult. Figuring out where we're going is very difficult. leads us somewhere. Anywhere. Okay, I'm really not overall the best gameplay on Earth, that's for sure. Especially since I was really looking forward to playing the game in VR, and instead of playing in VR, I'm now wandering the desert on a bike, trapped, lost, something. And decidedly, absolutely not in VR. Not sure where, which direction to go, except to say, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm actually really disappointed in this game. Um, I was hoping it would work out well in VR, and it would be a little bit more than it is. I knew it was a bit of a walking simulator. I knew that it dealt with mental illness in a way, um, but it's actually causing some mental illness, I think because of how terrible it plays. I'll be back with more content soon. Hopefully in VR. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And I'll see you next time.